project. This is a 2016 report by Deloitte and the Monetary Authority of Singapore called Project Ubin. In this report, it states that the prototype is integrated with Ripple and the Seller blockchain. Cross-border payments have plenty of room for innovation and the future looks bright for DLT within this use case. Durban in 2016 and our idea is to bring everybody together and just experiment and understand how does blockchain works. The DVP project is very interesting for MAS because in a short term and a medium term basis, it allows us to look at incremental efficiencies in capital market. We are working with SGX on applying blockchain technology for settling tokenized assets. In 2015, Ripple and CGI teams up. In this 2016 report by CGI, they state they're working on a Singapore-based consortia with two banks, a government agency, and Ripple to develop the first ever trade finance using blockchain. This proof of concept was touted a great success. On blockchain. The DBP project will prove the concept of simultaneous exchange and settlement of tokenized digital securities and currencies for SGX, our financial institutions and corporate investors. It will significantly improve operational efficiencies and reduce settlement risk for the market participants. This document has been removed, but it mentions the Central Bank of Singapore and Singapore's stock market using blockchain technology. Interledger is mentioned 13 times. It's important to note that they never say Interledger protocol or mention Ripple at all. This is one of the most advanced blockchain projects with practical design elements and alignment with current market structures and practices. There are four unique features. Interoperability among different blockchain prototypes, time-bound smart contract to achieve settlement finality, account control with two of three signature conditions that allows arbitrator for dispute resolution, off-chain and out-of-band features to safeguard secrets. The team built three different prototypes created on six protocols. Deloitte APAC Blockchain Lab used Hyperledger and Ethereum, Unchain used Zilliqa and Quorum, and Nasdaq are built theirs using Hyperledger Fabric and Chaincore. We In this February 2018 report by Krungsri, Ripple and the Monetary Authority of Singapore are currently running trials using blockchain technology to make international payments. We have developed a brand new smart contract language called Scylla. Scylla is secure by design, it is non-Turing complete, but it actually allows us to create smart contract programs that are safe and secure and amenable to formal verification methods. This 2018 article, it states that the Bank of Canada has partnered with the Bank of England and the Monetary Authority of Singapore on developing a faster and cost-effective cross-border payment settlement system. Very happy to continue the collaboration with Singapore to see how we can now guarantee the settlement of securities and money on two different blockchain technologies. The design we have made based on Nasdaq Financial Framework is overarching the different DLT technologies. This basically makes us agnostic to the choice of DLT. We lie. On May 2, 2019, the Central Bank of Canada and the Central Bank of Singapore concluded a trial of cross-border payments using blockchain technology and central bank digital currencies. Using Hyperledger Fabric and Ethereum to design and implement the DVP prototype. By building the Interledger DVP prototype on these two platforms, we'd like to prove that interoperability between different types of blockchains is possible. Project Ubin uses Accenture's Liquid Studio. That's based off of Microsoft Azure. As you know, PayPlus is also based off of Microsoft Azure. Project is part of our journey to rethink use of technology in a digital economy. The DVP project has bought SGX, Deloitte, Unchain, and Nasdaq to experiment with a new idea. Paid customer of Ripple's. There's another central bank we haven't announced that we're working with very actively. According to Bob Way, once you have two central banks, the game is over. We'll continue to encourage new ideas to create opportunities to improve people's lives.
the recent news of the Bank of International Settlements making Singapore an innovation hub to maximize the benefits of cross-border payments is compelling. 